Hey guys, it's Oggy back again with another video. I finally got my ICP test result back and I know exactly what the issue is. So let's jump right in and have a look at that guys. So before I start on this, I didn't have any issues until I got a large temperature uh, increase. So let's just say my corals are already stressed for some of these bad levels and then the temperature really helped wipe them out. So I'm gonna go through my uh, levels, tell you what's good, what's bad, and then I'll tell you my theories and I'm pretty sure I've got this spot on. I've already had a feeling about this for a while. So my salinity good, my KH was good, my aluminium was through the roof, arsenic was good, my barium was okay, a little bit high, my beryllium, cadmium, cobalt, and chrome are fine. The copper is through the roof, so that's two metals so far. The iron's okay, the mercury's okay. The iodine is a little bit low, but that's okay. Um, the lanth <laughs> lanthanum, Jesus, is fine. My lithium is fine. Manganese is fine. Molly, but <laughs> I should not be reading these. My molly, as they say, was a bit high as well, which is another metal. My nickel was okay. The lead, uh, this one, scandium, selenium, and silicon, tin, titanium. All these guys are fine. And then my zinc, which is again another metal I do believe is high, and my phosphorus was high. My sodium is okay. My calcium is a bit high at 540, that's still okay. My magnesium, my potassium are fine. My bromine is fine. My strontium, my sulfur is fine. And my phosphates are apparently through the roof at 20, and my boron is fine. So let's go ahead and break this down. Why is my aluminium, my molybdenum, my zinc, and my copper so high? Well, firstly, I, I have a theory about my aluminium. A while ago, I bought some marine pure blocks and they were extremely cheap. And as some of you guys may know, there was a story going around that there was a knockoff marine pure going around leaching aluminium. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove those blocks from the tank. I think my tank will be more than stable enough to do that. I will continue to test though, just to make sure it is, and I will dose no pox if needed. Now, why do I have so many metals? Well, simply put, I've been dosing too much calcium, and calcium uh, in the boiling method is also dosed with strong B. And what does strong B contain? Concentrated metals. I'm dosing more calcium and, and concentrated metals than my tank needs, and it is spiking the levels through the roof. To rectify that, I'm going to mix a new calcium solution and I am just basically going to not in, um, involve the, the strong B component which has the metals and I'm also going to do a couple of large water changes to deal with that. Now thirdly, uh, PO4. As you guys saw, my phosphorus and my phosphate were through the roof and uh, I actually did solve this issue after I set this. This took nearly a month to get back to me. So just want to put that out there. I did uh, do lots of PO check, PO4 checking. I did go to the LFS and I actually managed to lower that to near zero levels by using uh, water changes, for example. I didn't use GFO. So I just re removed the extra nutrients. I did know some no pox and that ended up uh, clearing the thing. Now, uh, another one of my nutrients, uh, sorry, another one of my levels that was high was this is really weird to do uh barium a bit high why is my barium high well simply put the strong a component has barium in it and i died which which i need actually uh, sorry strontium which i need that's fine but the reef minerals also has barium in it i don't know what else is in there there is a couple of little things listed here um it was a bit of a pain in the ass to find. Anyway, barium's one of them. So when I mix my, I'm gonna remix this as well, uh, my magnesium that is, and not involve this. So basically, it's not Aquaforest's fault. Um, I don't blame them at all. It's my fault for not using their program properly. My tank doesn't need all the elements, for example, that they've provided me with. Um, let me just put it this way. When I've had fluctuated calcium or alkalinity or magnesium, I've gone ahead and done the general thing that I've always done when I've been dosing two part. I've dosed that chemical, I've dosed calcium, which has then shot up my barium. I've dosed um, alkalinity, which has, oh Jesus, I can't remember the exact mix, but for example, it has other trace elements. And when I've dosed my magnesium, it's had extra barium. So basically what I've been doing is to get my, cal my, my big three parameters, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity study, I've been dosing them. But the whole time I've been forgetting that I have these other elements in there as well and I've been spiking them. So basically what I'm gonna do is remove the marine pure, remix some of these chemicals 
not including the extras that I don't need. And I'm going to do a couple of big water changes in the tank to let itself settle. Uh, in saying that, we've had about four or five days of cooler weather. I am getting SPS3 growing and I've gotten all my pop extension back. Everything is doing okay. So even though I have some of these figures that are not correct, they're, they're way out. My tank is actually starting to bounce back. So again, temperature was one of the main causes. And then the second hunch I had was with the aquaforest program. But again, I don't blame them. It is directly my fault. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on that, but I'll quickly show you uh, a video of the tank and I'll show you guys what's happening there and see what it's looking like right now. So sorry about the dirty glass guys, but straight up the enemies, the yeah, one moved over there doing fantastic. GSP has absolutely exploded. My clams have come back. All this RTN STS has completely stopped on all my SPS. The Green Postlepora has completely grown back. The Orange Monty has as well. The SPS behind it is continuing to spread out and grow. These guys that I fragged up has stopped SCNing and he's healing over. These guys down here, same, same. The Monty don't look too bad. The Gunny down there has got good extension and all these SPS have come back. And not only that, but they've come back with complete different coloration, which is pretty sweet. And this red Monty is really becoming vivid red again. So again, temperature was a giant factor in this. Now in saying that, some of these guys have now become fluorescent, a color that I've never seen on them before. So it's interesting how they're going through color changes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix these chemicals up and get everything back to where it's supposed to be, get some water changes done, and when I set up the next tank, I'm definitely going to send another ICP test kit. It's one of the most valuable tools that I've found. Uh, I'm just, I would just wish I had access to it earlier, so I hope your tanks are going good. I think I'm starting to finally bounce back, guys. I hope everyone uh, is having a good weekend, and um, stay reefing. Thanks, guys. Peace. Before I conclude this video, I just want to put it out there clearly, I'm not sponsored or anything, and I am not bashing Aquaforest whatsoever. You should normally always follow the manufacturer's directions, so don't go out and listen to my word and do something just because I've tried it. Um, don't go and mix your own alkalinity and change your supplements around because that's just what I'm going to do. And why am I doing that? Well, because I tested. If we had an ICP test earlier, I would have done it a long time ago and would have figured out this is an issue. Again, do your own research. Make sure you check your dosages, make sure you test your water, and if you don't have the result uh, test kit, try to find someone that does. And again, I'm gonna show you my results next week, be it positive or negative or whatever's happened.